Hello everyone and let's continue with our form that we created to store values on our database. Uh, so we have our database with all the fields ready and the form ready as well. So what we want is to type something in the form and then click submit and everything will be stored in your database. Okay. So first what we're going to do is check the the max length for each of the fields. So we have 40 here, 40. Uh, what I'm gonna do is put 50 in all of them because it's the same max length or limit that we have on the database. So 50, 50, 50. And then we have here 200 and password we can put, let's put 50 as well. So everything will be, um, the same limit as we have in the form. So 50, 50, 200 comments and 50 in the password. Um, gender one, because it return either M or F. And age, we must change this to um, Varshar as well. Let's change this to Varshar because it will return either um, under 30, between 30 and 6, or over 60. Uh, let's type here 30. Okay, save this. And I think we are done here. So now let's open our Notepad++ and let's create our file, PHP file that will run and process all this information and we'll store this information to our database. Okay, so pay attention because this script uh, is the first time that we will connect to a MySQL data. So this is going to be PHP script. And here we can type uh, making the connection to MySQL and let's save this. Let's uh, create connection that PHP. Okay. So the first thing we should do is create the MySQL variable called DBC. This is going to be equal to, and now we type MySQL I connect and parenthesis. Okay, now inside the parenthesis, we have to type some parameters or some values in this order. The first is host host name and you can type that as a variable that we will give a value in just a minute host name first username second password and a database name okay now save this Okay, so in order for MySQLite connect function works, we need to give some values or valid values to these four um, variables. So up in here, let's type host name equals to something. Now username equals to something and password equals to something and here it's a db name okay okay so the host name you have to type local host because we are using um zam control panel and we are using mysql as a local host username you type root which is by default the username you have and you can configure this in PHP admin if you want, but basically this will, you'll have this by default, 
password, you can leave it empty because you don't have a password by default. And uh, DB name is, as you know, is my first database. Okay, so make sure you type here my first database. Okay, now save this. My first database. Okay, great. So let's continue. And something that you should use always is uh, the or die function. For security reasons, you should use the or die function in order to drop the connection immediately. Okay, so we can avoid some hacking problems. You can even give a message could not connect to database. Okay, and save this. You can even use the function MySQL I connect error in order to in order to see what the problem is. So couldn't connect to database error. And here you can type the MySQL MySQL I connect error. And save this. You should also set the encoding to UTF-8. So let's type set encoding. MySQL. I set char set. And here you can type uh, the variable DBC, which holds the connection. And here you should type UTF, UTF-8, okay? So make sure you have this so we can avoid any encoding problems connecting with our database. So let's save this and let's see if uh, we can make a connection, if the connection is working with uh, this script and with, with our database. So if you go, if you type now localhost and the name of the PHP file that we just created. So you click enter. If no error message appears, it means that it's working. Okay, so we have successfully connected to our database. You can also create a message on the script so you can know that you are connected. So let's type here. You are connected to here type db name database. Okay, I'll save this. And here I almost forgot the dollar symbol. Okay, let's save this and localhost connection.php and there it is okay so it's working perfectly as you can see you have you are connected to my first database database okay um so it's working perfectly and so we now have the script that connects to the database now we just need to start creating the script that will store the information from the form to our database. Okay, see you guys in the next